Okay, I've got the Yellow Jacket device here. It's powered on. As you can see, it is detecting a lot of neighboring access points that are sources of interference. I have my control over here, which is my laptop. Um, you'll see static pictures of it. Um, my laptop, let me just pan over, is set up with a Cisco Spectrum Expert card, and I have the little wireless security camera which I use for testing um, to make sure the spectrum analysis software is working as expected. My 9 volt connectors, as you can see, are disconnected, so I'll have to hold them down with my fingers. And I'm going to focus the camera back onto the yellow jacket and connect the 9 volt battery. And we can watch what appears to happen is that the list of currently detected access points seemingly disappears. I'm going to move this over to the frame, connect my battery terminals, my fingers, my device is connected. And as you can see, the list of devices that are detected by the yellow jacket as it cycles through the channels, they just drop off the screen, which I find rather interesting. I don't have an explanation for it. Um, I don't have the manual for this device just yet, but I will definitely reach out to them and ask them why this behavior occurs, um, because even if I take the pen and go into the filter options, um, remove Mac after 30 seconds is selected. If I go into the sort options, I've got it sorted by received signal strength. Um, there's no SSID on a wireless security camera. Even if I sort by channel and I say OK, the screen is still blank. And you can see over here in the right hand corner that it's cycling through each channel as it's scanning, but there's nothing showing up on the display. I'm going to hold down the camera, uh, the wireless security camera, um, for a few more seconds so you'll be able to see the display once I let go of it. Um, I'm going to pan back over to the Cisco Spectrum Expert and show you what it was seeing while the yellow jacket had nothing on its display. You can see over here on the Cisco Spectrum Expert display, this is where uh, we had the period of time where the uh, wireless security camera was connected. And you can see it was making a very large impact on channel 6. And this is when I let go of it. The RS RSSI goes back to semi-normal for an environment with lots of phones being shared as personal hotspots. Um, but I'm going to move the camera back over to the yellow jacket and you can see now that I have disconnected the wireless security camera. Devices are starting to show back up on the screen now that the wireless security camera is disconnected. I also wanted to show you something interesting about the yellow jacket Wi-Fi analyzer. It has two connectors on the front for the cleverly labeled uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz antenna. But what I find is interesting is that you cannot connect both antennas at the same time. You can see that there's not enough space in between the antenna connectors to connect them at the same time. So you can only scan 2.4 and then make another scan of 5 gigahertz because you can't have them connected at the same time. Um, their nice directional antenna that you can connect is only 2.4, which is okay, I suppose, because there's lots of devices that affect the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, um, and you probably have more trouble tracking those down rather than 5 gigahertz sources of interference. But that's just a quick demonstration of something odd that I saw when I was testing the Yellow Jacket Bang 802.11 Wi-Fi analyzer.